Yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course I'm back on here really quick. Uh, of course, um, Doug Battle video. So of course, we did get some new news for Global. We have the next newsletter for part two. It's basically go going over the Golden Week stuff, and it was kind of teased in the newsletter, which which is so I'm glad I did the first video because it goes over basically all the info like Global and JP sharing the same time stuff, having stuff at the same time, blah 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 blah. We already know about that. It basically meant Golden Week was coming early. I'm so glad I did upload that video way early because um. I, I've been doing that now with my um, new recording schedule, sketch schedule, recording schedule, uh, waking up and of course um, just like in the middle of the night or like the middle of the day when the token info drops and then uploading it of course, you know, next um, day or whatever. So yeah, I, 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 I have my full, I'm like all over the place, I have my full breakdown video for the new Goku and Cell, I fully broke them down. That should be a, this should be a, that should be a way before this video. So, um, yeah. Uh, this we just kind of like talking about it and stuff like that. Because Goku and JP have been going a week together, sharing that. It was kind of obvious because they did last year as well. When Koda, the new global producer, which she was, uh, this video is known as a year, holy crap. Uh, she basically, um, she organized that. And she was like, okay, we're going to make them both a global and JP at the same time. Which also makes sense because of, um, of course, this would have been, I think, in because Global just has this in November with the fake celebration. He was saying, like, this was in the Go Tanks and Non Fat Boo, slash our Evil Boo Exchange, and we've seen it with in Gogeta as Terra Genem, but we've seen it the last couple of years. We know the pattern how it is. And of course, for Global, you know, before the universe, whatever comes after the anniversary for JP it comes to Global before the anniversary. It's not like you're doing June, we might get the ATL game you. Which is going to be kind of weird because Global's going to go back to back. But this is probably going to take up the whole month of May. Is it? Yeah, that's a boy. So I take the goal, but this could be a Goku Go Ten Go. Hey, because last year this was Goku Go Home Go Ten Day last year. They put they turned that GT stuff into that because we had like the new meat item event, or basically it was the GT version of it, or the new meat item you can farm now every single day. I don't. I wonder if we'll get a new event like that last year, this year. It'd be kind of cool if we did. Um, again, this is gonna be out way before the celebration. This is gonna be way done beforehand. Before again, this is before. Celebration info and stuff like that drops. So, at times recording the next day, because you know how it is, like, you know, data, um, don't connect best announcements. Next day after that, um, data, the units get data mined. The, the units get, um, added, of course, on Twitter. Then after that, of course, info and stuff like that. Then after that, we get, um, it's the update download. After that, like, the next couple of days, or the next couple of hours after that, it's gonna be a celebration info. That's how it's been usually the last, like, four hours ago. So, yeah, of course, but, yeah. Um, like I said though, um, we have the global newsletter piece right here. Um, again, the first newsletter, which I will skim up it really quick. If you want to go see the full video, I have it somewhere around me, I have above, whatever. I'll skip it to the end if you don't like it. Hey, this is the first global newsletter. It said it's going to be two parts. This is the second part of the global newsletter right here. They say it was going to be on the 24th, and we kind of got that. Uh, yesterday night on the 24th, um, yeah, like at 10 a.m., I was half asleep, so I couldn't, like, really cover this piece. And yeah, I was going to, but I just fell asleep. I was so tired. And we knew it was going to be released like at 10.30 at night, like we knew that. It's like the LR, like parts of LR problems, you know, they always say it sometimes at 4 o'clock in the morning, sometimes they release really say at like 10.30 p.m., 9.30 p.m., 9.31, 9.32, like LR in 17 and like, um, Universe 7 and the physical Golden Freezer in 17. I remember I was eating pizza, I had LR um, Papa John's. Had literally the wings, all that stuff, right over here. Then like the next minute, it's like, okay, the data mine, so I have to wait. 9.30 at night. Good schedule. <laughs> we do we know what Google means. They release it like a couple, like two hours later than everybody already knows. But yeah, this is the um, newsletter that was going to be posted on the 24th, of course. Um, for the next, of course, you know, global campaign, basically. Uh, we, all, we all knew it was going to be Golden Week, but we didn't know what it was going to be. I mean, we have a Golden, we have, we have golden character, like a gold, <laughs> uh, Super Saiyan, goes, go, 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 go on. But, um, yeah. Yeah, oh. Just But yeah, um, but yeah, this is the, of course, like I said, the, um, news, the newest one right here. It'll be on the 27th, of course, the new um, campaign coming up for Corbo and JP. Uh, the Golden Week for, you know, for JP, so I think Golden Week around this time. So they always get to do a because, um, but yeah, it's giving me a new Gohan and stuff. I was thinking to go Trunks and some also because I just talked about the one like VJump video I did the other day. Because when they got really sick, I shouldn't have walked VJump, but they didn't do it this summer around, which makes sense because they want to, you know, Surprise us, they didn't want to say anything because they just spoiled us. We were like, Oh, yeah, you know who Golden Week is. Plus, for Global Pilot, they've been spoiled, but we didn't see this beforehand for Global, which is kind of cool because they, they did tweet this out. And we were like, Okay, we'll go Q and of course, sell stuff like that, of course. Um, so that was pretty cool. 
But yeah, it was a Goku and Gohan unit you know, just talking to Gohan, and of course the Cell goes to every form. So the first form, this is his, um, these are their QR arts. No, the SSR. We haven't seen the SSR arts at all yet. Can't wait to see his. It's gonna be probably so cool. It's probably be Goku, like, in Cell. Yeah, for Goku, it'll probably be him stand. Like, in the manga, him and Cell kind of stand there, like, they all probably be, like, Goku versus Cell. We see Goku in the manga just standing there. Well, we see Cell, um, it'd be cool. What was Cell? Oh, his first form. Maybe charging at 17 to maybe? I don't know. I, I really want to see the SSR arts. They always go off a lot for them. We always see the QRs first. We never really see like, the SSR arts, though. But yeah, this is coming from both Goku and JP. It wasn't us for Goku a little late, but of course JP is getting it as well. Again, Golden Week, they've been sharing this. They shared it last year. Of course, this year, they're going to um, do it again. Though. So yeah. I'm going to break down the first Goku newsletter really fast, though. So of course, um, again, this is pretty much it, though. Um, but they had a lot of stuff in here. Like, I had a lot of info in here. Like, this one's like... Um, Get like thoughts on high events, like do you want to see more difficulties? Do you want it to be easier? Um, enjoy them, like you need to change them, of course, no difficulty. Then just explains like a little, like just again, like the basically the um, how they like the team's comments stuff like that because people have been they actually read all their comments and like, yes, we know we read all the comments, typical stuff. Um, but they did go over basically, like, um, I'm trying to think of it, oh, like back of my chest, right here right now. um, but it basically went over this, like right here. I'm not. Should have not done that actually. But yeah, uh, this basically just goes over like um, all the, basically their like whole thing like they're basically their comments and stuff like that. Um, because it talks about like version D, like you know they want to keep you close to the game. They want to make it easier for newer players like farming and stuff like that. That's how version D Goku was pretty much made for farming new units. Like you can give them straight to LR, you can have them like you know, give them TR, give them straight to LR, done fast, easy. Makes sense. I know a lot of people are like, oh, why do you do it for prime battles? Because they want you to farm them. And it's super easy to get them done anyway. Nowadays, with the new free play unit teams and stuff like that, you could easily destroy these for things. But yeah, um, I went over this already though, but yeah, like, um, we, like, do you want to see, like, we want to see your high difficulty events? I mean, for Doki, really, like I said in my previous video, not to really repeat myself, but just go over my sweet thoughts and stuff like that. The difficulty isn't really high. It can make the game is designed for you to keep summoning, summoning from units, destroy the event. Like, yeah, like Doki Fest events, like they're really easy nowadays. So that might have like a rage gimmick like the STR name like Goku, or you know, like the Full Power Freeza OG event. Yeah, the OG Full Power Freeza event, where basically you had to you had to hurry up and beat him because he will kill one shot and kill you. But nowadays you can just one shot him. They give you like multiple medals for it. So. Yeah. Again, okay, well nowadays, yeah, they give you multiple medals, like seven, like seven to three or like two. Kinda like how Prime Battles are when they drop their metal rates and stuff like that. So it's kinda like that with the so yeah. And of course this one was um Basically, like, do you want to see a good friendship fun friend function? I mean, the friendship function, like, what do you want to see with that? Uh, like, it's like, do you want to see with your friends? Which is actually a good idea, like, co-op and stuff like that. Doki, like I said, Doki can do a co-op. I think it can be really done really well. Don't do, like, Legends, like, you know, you had to fight, like, a, like a full LR team. And then, like, you win in one shot. The, you know, the other person didn't have time to react. They cancel the, the connection issues, like, the ranking. It's just... I mean, Legends was made for PvP again. I'm gonna say this right now. You guys can click to this, permit, whatever. Um, Doken was made, I mean, Legends all the way. Legend, well, forget what I said. Yeah, Doken was made from feedback, make me Doken. There you go. Legends was made from feedback from Doken. Because people want to see PvP in Doken. They're like, no, we're gonna make Legends, and that's the whole point of it. Like, that's literally the whole point of Legends. PvP, Legends. If you want to play PvP in Legends, Doken will work for PvP. Um, that's the POV, point of view. I mean, point of view, yeah, technically, or, um, POV. Um, again, they want you to use, like, click units, use them in events and stuff, but that's it, POV. I mean, we haven't seen POV, like, you know, um, Super Tech Anime or something like the Int Vegeta from last year. I need to upload the essay animations for Go. Yeah, I need to do that. Like, again, I mean, so busy and stuff like that, so that might come out a little bit there. But yeah. Um, but yeah, the Grace Anime had a POV shot. Um, for uh, April Fool's from last year. But yeah. Um, but yeah, like, again, interacting with your friends. Like, I would love to interact with my friends, team up with them, play with them. Like, they can do PvP. I think you can do really well. Just don't do, like, don't make, like, PvP exclusive units. I mean, they can make PvP exclusive units, but they did for Legends as well, and that just kind of, like, drags it down a lot, though. Because, again, it's supposed to be fun, but then you just get one shot, and, like, like the Pikemon Dangers, you just get one shot, and then just whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I think Doken's a good idea. I can, like I said, the friend system overall still sucks, but playing with your friends, interacting with them, more teaming up with them, doing the like, raid events like the Super Saiyan, like the Roger Vegeta raid, and like like um, Universe 2, like where you just do raids. 
Um, you can just damage this unit, damage this unit until a town is up or whatever. I think that would be pretty fun. I know Chain Battle kind of does that. You kind know, of like how Chain Battle does. We have to damage the unit and get as much damage as you can. They don't really die, but you do as much damage as you can. That's what would be pretty cool. You know, you get one turn, other person gets the other turn, like a third person gets a turn, and then you just, you know, add all your damage together. They'd be kind of crazy, but I think that, I don't know, something like that. I don't know how they're going to do that, though. So, again, I feel like that's a really good idea. Now, of course, that here's reasons why you want to like, include a character on teams. Like, you want your strong characters, you want your favorite characters. You just want to see the cool animations. I do it anyway, though, because I love transformation boosts. There's a whole point where I run it on multiple videos, so you got to see all the beautiful, good animations. I know, I try to talk about the videos, too, like Cooler, Cobar Frieza, Int Cell. Um, even though you don't see the animations, but still, you could, you know, you, know, you, you, you don't confess events sometimes can hit you are a little bit, so, yeah, even though they only reduce, you never reduce your damage anyway, regardless of so, yeah. But I like to do it anyway, like, you know, you want to see, like, the team, the performance, you want to see it just built right for the characters, you want to make for difficult content, again, again, this is how units are made, though, like, red zone units, a lot of these units nowadays are made for the red zone, for JP and stuff like that, though, and that's always been on my mind, like, every time the, uh, we have the red zone now on JP, on Gold Bowl is going to be there soon, like, in about, like, a um, May, June, July, about, like, a two months and a half now, three-ish, three-ish months, um, but yeah, um, that's still going to be a thing, no matter what, regardless, though, so, every time I think of a unit coming out, I was like, yeah, they're going to be made for the red zone, or just going to be difficult content, and get, like, so, like, the new Cell pretty much is made for Super Battle Royale, he can dodge, he basically has a full, almost him potential system stats, like, he can dodge, he can create, he, can get, he gives himself full additional, free the, via the free one, so, yeah, I think Cell's going to be really good and broken for Super Battle Royale, though, so, um, that's where I kind of, like, got the ideas and stuff like that from. Then, of course, the last one right here was, basically, um, do you want to set Goldman JP, like, Clive in the future, do you want to set Goldman first, or just, that's a no, please don't do that, because that messes up a Goldman schedule, we saw definitely the last jar, I think, in the year before, uh, like, the Kyle can do Goku, that messes up Goldman's Goldman schedule, but JP gets, I mean, of course, you know, the banners don't really matter, though, because you get, like, those elevators, like, like Jiren and Gordon Freeze on one, and you get bears that JP never gets, which is really cool, but they're just trap banners, like, they're obviously trap banners, like, the New Jared and Golden Freezer one, that's an obvious shot, like, skip that banner, they want you, again, the important in the game is the event that does not want to be your friend, they just want your stone, they just want your money, that's usually how it is with these kinds of games, again, be smart, be great, be thankful, thankful about your, of some of the options, because you suddenly go all, all out, it's totally going to be safer for the anniversary, like, for me, last year, I just skipped Golden Week, because I really didn't need nothing from the GT Goku or Vegeta banner, even for the anniversary, I don't need nothing from the God's banner, I do need a little bit more from the Super Saiyan 4 banner. So that's why I'm saving though, because I know I can get by there. I can get the Int Vegeta I need. I, um, Int GT Vegeta I need, because I do love GT. I don't care what my advice says. I loved it forever. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. I thought I heard something like that. I was like, what the hell? I've been hearing cards and stuff like that lately, so. I'm near a window for a lot of cards on, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're like smart saving, like you want for Bar Frieza, the gods. Again, you want to be smart with your thinking or something. But yeah. Um. But again, the core cuts with Gold Bone JP, that was obvious to teach Golden Week coming up though, so yeah. But yeah, on the other hand as well, um Yeah, like this wasn't um that bad either. Um you yeah, adding exclusive content JP uh, for global, no, just just don't do that. Please don't do that. School global exclusive stuff, because we've seen it before like the end of the physical Goku black. He had his passive completely changed on global and he well, it's really good. JB still hasn't gotten there. That's why I kind of feel like they should be... Oh, they just update them in both, in both versions. It's, it, I feel like it should be fair. Even though a lot of people say he's aged now. But I think the physical girl is like, still pretty good, though. But overall, though, I definitely think... Um, I think they really should update him like on the JP. Because it's not fair. Oh, 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 yeah, Global is exclusive. But I think on JP, we should have him as well. I know Global has the exclusive tickets. Um... Coins and stuff like that. I don't think this guy have it this year because we're going to be sure stuff that never do it, like Animal Celebration. I don't think last year we got tickets either for Golden Week. It makes sense because Global just got tickets with the Dual Dark Fest camera. I know Global doesn't do like Dark Fest back, Dual Dark Fest back to back for me, but there's a, there's a part of the schedule we'll go, so it doesn't really matter. Like, we just had Dual Dark Fest for a whole month of, um, for Global for a um, Goku, but you know, we go back to back. But we're really not back to back, so we have like a fellow family in between. And like, okay, we're gonna make like a, you know, so yeah. And of course, this one was, what was this one down here? I do want to see more producer letters, basically. Like, do you want to see them more? Do you want new information on characters? Um, come, like, this one's really good, though. Like, again, this is why we did the surveys. This is why we had these letters. This is why they got this. 
again, perfect example, like, go on a sale, like, I mean, for, perfect example, not that, perfect example, um, for this, I think, was it last year? Um, Global was broken up, Global got, like, completely broken because they had to do it in the first update, it didn't really authorize the Global because they had two more item slots, and that combined basically to make a, not really combined, but they took those away to make the support members that. Bobo didn't have like the proper update, it have a bug with that where basically every time you use a support item, the game would crash because uh, it, it couldn't handle like, support memories, it, it, it wasn't really implemented right, um, support items were, were glitchy, we had to wait a whole week for a tournament, uh, we had to wait a, a week for a tournament to be done, uh, no, we'll go ahead and skip a world tournament, and I was happy about that, I was like yes, I don't care, Just, I, I'm glad, I wasn't gonna it. Um, but we still can like, you know, play the game, farm it out, but you couldn't like do support items. And then it took over literally a week to do that. I think that's really kind of bad because on JP they would have probably got that done like a bug fix. They want two or three, like literally they want two or three for JP, which you say good, beautiful, done, whatever. Oh, uh, we know how use that is. But for Global, it was kind of messed up though. Like they should have got that done like maybe ASAP, maybe then waited a week just make sure they don't get for like, game for like a day because you know after that we can log in back in, get a bonus or whatever. So, yeah. I feel like this way kind of was just bad communication, but with news, I was like, this, they can communicate, activate more. This is why I always say do the survey, they want the feedback, the process, the um, minerals, the minerals, everything. Again, they want everything, feedback, processing, um, viewer communication, all that stuff there. So yeah, the thing, the, again, uh, yeah, pretty much all my points from my first um, video and stuff like that. Um, just in case if you missed it, whatever. But yeah, good week this week, again, week, um, yeah, this day, day, guys, I day. Uh, this time, again, like I said, it'll be Goldman JP exclusive, no Goldman JP, but of course it'll be Goldman JP uh, with the new Goku slash Gohan unit, and of course we'll sell unit, they look for everything. I already broke down the video, I have that weighed up by now, but I'm not going to this up though. But then we're going to update this a little late, just because I pretty much kind of went over everything though, but yeah. Um, yeah, though, see you guys there though, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, cool. Okay. You know, make sure stay safe, wash your hands, God bless, all of you are going out, putting more masks on, toilet paper, but really, too, the best thing you can, drink some lemonade, drink some water, go outside, just some grass, uh, go to the mall, maybe hang out with your friends, you can, if you can't, if you don't feel like it, then it's cool, um, get vaccinated if you can, I know the mandate's over, you know, we don't have to wear masks in public, but still just be cautious in general, um, but yeah, so what you gotta think about all this info, of course, like you hate it again, very simple, very easy stuff, I just kind of, Quickly tried to go through and explain everything. Sorry if I went too fast because I got go to something today. I mean, I kind of probably do because I got prepared for tomorrow for the news info, you know, campaign. I had the thumbnail done. I was going to get the video done. So, yeah. Um, what am I thumbnail going to do for this one? I got a lot of good thumbnail ideas. But, yeah. See you guys later. Though. Peace out.